Hi. Hi, I'm Ashley Stomp. Uh, I'm a social worker with the St. Luke's Weight Management Department here in the Warren campus. And I wanted to touch base and just do this educational video with everyone about mindfulness and deep breathing stress reduction. So we're in some pretty uncertain, tumultuous times. And so I figured this would be a good time to talk about ways that we could invest in some of our own self-care, work on how to reduce our stress, um, how to center some of our thoughts, um, and to work on some deep breathing exercises, which can really be helpful um, in, in keeping us calmer um, and more aware of our own um, thoughts, emotions, feelings. So a couple tips. Um, you know, and maybe uh, a little bit of a practice um, to help with some of the stress reduction. Um, I uh, encourage patients to just be mindful of, you know, how you're doing. Checking in with yourself is really important uh, throughout a day um, when you're feeling a certain way, if you're feeling frustrated or if you're feeling bored or if you're feeling um, overwhelmed. Um, these are all things to be aware of so that we're using good coping skills. Sometimes we're reaching for the food. Uh, in those times and we're not even aware of it. So if we can be aware of how we're feeling and how our day is going, um, then we can attend to those real problems rather than just trying to mask them with food. Um, if you are a uh, fitness tracker kind of person, as I am, um, I have a Fitbit Versa. And on this and some of the other tracking devices, it does have an option for uh, relax, which is a guided breathing uh, exercise. So it senses your breathing and encourages you to um, breathe in a rhythmed way uh, to kind of become more centered. So I thought this would be a good opportunity for us to do maybe a deep breathing exercise, maybe about a minute, um, just to kind of see what it's all about um, and, and work on some of this skill uh, that you could potentially develop. So if uh, you would like to be a part of this, um, just find a comfortable chair if you're you know, not already in one or you can sit on the floor um, and uh, just get yourself in a position that you're gonna be comfortable for about a minute uh, while you're doing your deep breathing. Um, so I'm in a chair right now, my feet are flat on the floor and my hands are going to be, you know, resting either on the arms of the chair or in the lap. Um, and you can close your eyes during this activity or you can have them open if you would like to continue to watch me. Um, but I will be talking through this exercise so you don't have to have your eyes open if you don't want to. All right, so I'm gonna start uh, my little uh, app here. Uh, so that it can help time me. And then we're gonna start with just breathing naturally. Just breathing in through your nose and then out through the mouth. And just breathe at your normal rate. Um, you don't have to do exceptionally deep breaths right now. We're just trying to feel where our breath is in our body. Um, and when I say that, I mean, where do you feel it the most? Do you feel it when you're first Breathing in through the nose. Do you feel it when it's going down the back of the throat? Do you feel your chest expanding? Do you feel it contracting? Do you feel your belly rise and then your belly fall? So you just want to be breathing naturally throughout and just take stock of where you are feeling your breath the most. And during this time, as you're trying to focus, your mind might start to drift. It happens, it happens to everyone. So when you notice your mind drifting, just be aware of it and bring it back to your breath. Where do you feel the breath? And just focus on that feeling. Some people feel that if they let their minds drift too much that it's not working or they're not doing it right. But um, it's described as flexing a muscle. When you first start lifting weights, it's a little hard at first, but as you go along, it starts to get easier the more you work it. So every time you notice that your breath is, uh, that you're drifting away from that and you pull your mind back to your breath, you just flex that muscle. So keep flexing. Um, so you want to just keep breathing. Just be aware of the breath.
And then from here, we're going to just open our eyes, bring ourselves back, and just an opportunity, about a minute there to just do some breathing and some focusing um, so that you can feel hopefully a little calmer, a little more centered, um, maybe less frazzled or stressed um, during this uh, difficult time or any time life when we're not dealing um, with what we are now, um, you know, can be stressful. So um, this is a practice I encourage not just like doing it, you know, you don't have to sit and do it formally. You can do it while you're chopping veggies or making dinner one day. If you realize you're maybe shallow breathing a little bit and you want to be a little bit more centered, um, you know, you can just stop and take a couple deep breaths and see where you are. Um, and doing that again throughout the day, throughout your week, um, you're just practicing and you're getting a little bit more centered. Um, when you're doing this, you can work on um, doing it in front of, you know, doing it in front of an open window when it starts to get warmer, doing it outside, um, you know, getting some fresh air. Um, another relaxing thing that I find and that I enjoy is um, I have a light therapy box. Um, it looks like a little tablet um, and it's not very big, but it is very bright. Um, and it's used um, for usually the time of year when we're not getting a lot of natural light. Um, it simulates natural light and stimulates our brains as if we're out in the sunshine. Um, so it gives you an opportunity to kind of get some of that stimulation when our light is low. Um, so there's uh, directions on how to use it. I bought mine on Amazon. Um, you know, so, you know, it's something that you can research and look into if you're wanting to maybe do a little bit of light therapy to save off some of that seasonal affective disorder. Um, that's another great tool to use for relaxation. Um, so those are just some of the ideas that I have to come, uh, you know, I have to deliver for you. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, you know, please feel free to um, comment and um, discuss. Uh, and, you know, we can, you know, continue this discussion further. Um, thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, stay healthy and we look forward to seeing you in the office.